Hello there and welcome back to Bullets for Bucks. Today we're going to be going over the Vortex Diamondback FFP 6-24 by 50 scope. This scope, like I said before, is 6-24 power by 50 objective here at the end. It does come in a 4-16 model, which I would recommend if you're going to be using it for hunting. It comes with a generous 3.9 inch eye relief, which is really the seller of this scope for me. It also has a nice eyepiece adjustment that's very smooth and concise yet stiff enough to where it doesn't move on you when you don't want it to. Then we'll go forward to the magnification ring. Now if I had one thing to say about this scope that I didn't like, it would be the magnification ring. It is fluid and it does work, however it's extremely stiff. In my opinion, stiffer than you need it to be. Also, it's a bit gritty and catches in a couple spots. Overall though, it's not bad and with the use, it's already starting to loosen up. Moving up here, we have the parallax adjustment or side parallax adjustment. It goes all the way down to 10 yards and then it adjusts all the way up to 300 yards and then infinity. And I gotta say, that's much smoother, doesn't make noise and it works great. The tube on this scope is 30 millimeters. As the turrets adjust 65 minutes of elevation and you get 65 minutes of windage. Now that's actually really generous for a 6 to 24 power scope and especially at this price point. Hopefully you can hear this, it's begun to get a little windy out here. But you can see here is your elevation turret. Hopefully you could hear that. Now there's 15 minutes of adjustment in each revolution of the windage turret and of the elevation turret. Um, one thing I will note is that uh, they are quite tactile and you can hear them easily. They are quite audible. However, they are a little bit mushy and the hash on the scope body lines up to the hash on the scope turret. However, there's a little bit of play. There's a little bit of wiggle in there. And so it doesn't line up every time perfect unless you kind of just smush it just a little bit back into place and then it lines up perfect. Hopefully you can hear that. And the same holds true for that turret. It does line up, but it's a little bit mushy and there's a tiny bit of play in it. Overall though, for the category and price class of this scope, this scope cannot be beat on the market by any other scope I've seen. The Athlon Argos um, is probably a similar class scope in a similar price category. However, the turrets are not nearly as good, the glass isn't as good, and so on. So going further up the scope, you have of course a 50 millimeter objective, and then you have an included sunshade. I do have it on, but you of course can remove it. The MOA version comes with the EBR2C MOA reticle. Um, it's a PRS style reticle or what I call a Christmas tree style reticle. And the MILA version, it comes with the EBR2C MIL reticle. It comes in first focal plane, which once again, you cannot beat this scope by any other scope in its price class. This scope wins all. It has first focal plane at a price under $400. The scope length is approximately 14.8 inches and it weighs approximately 24.6 ounces. So things I really like about this scope, it tracks extremely well. It holds zero. Um, the glass is absolutely excellent. In fact, I have not seen a scope come close to the glass quality of this scope in this price range. Um, this is by far the best entry level scope I have reviewed for PRS or long range. It's first focal plane and I love the reticle on it. Um, the turrets, like I said, a little bit mushy, but excellent value and excellent for their price class. Um, the magnification knob, a little bit gritty and tight, but it seems to be smoothing out with use. The parallax adjustment works great. 
Um, no complaints here. And I highly recommend taking a look at the Vortex Diamondback FFP 6 to 24 by 50 and the 4 to 16 by 50 rifle scopes. They are excellent. Anyways, go ahead and like and subscribe below, and I look forward to hearing back from you.